Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Tour. This is question 5 of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics written in May June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing in the series, there are four videos on my YouTube channel in a playlist titled IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4-2 May June 2024. There are videos for questions one two three and four respectively if you are seeing this channel for the first time please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking the subscribe button also hit the notification bell to receive a notification anytime i upload a new video like comment and share this video question 5a simplify 25x to the power of 6 everything raised to the power of 3 over 2 this is the same as 25 to the power of 3 over 2 then x to the power of 6 multiplied by 3 over 2 so here uh, this is a fractional uh, index okay that's the law of indices there so you can easily uh, draw a root like this okay so 2 will be here then you have 25 here and raised to the power of 3 so you can write it like that okay and this will give you 5 to the power of 3 so alternatively you can write 25 to the power of 2 that will be 5 to the power of 2 then multiply by 3 over 2 then x to the power of uh, 2 year 1 2 in 6 you have 3 so you have 3 by 3 you have 9 okay so 2 cancel 2 here so we are left with 5 to the power of 3 you can see we still got 5 to the power of 3 as written here then x to the power of 9 so 5 to the power of 3 means 5 times 5 times 5 that is 125 then x to the power of 9 part okay. b these are the first five terms of a sequence find the nth term of the sequence so we can do something like this this is n for the sequence so you have for the first term you have for the second the third and the fourth okay so we have one out of six that's the first term okay term. then the second term you have one then you have six we have 36 so you don't need to use all the times there so um if you look at this you see that if you multiply by 6, you get the next term by 6, okay? So, by 6. So, this is a geometric uh, sequence, okay? Or exponential sequence, okay? So, for that reason, so we'll just say this uh, 6 to the power of n, okay? So, let's assume that this is our n term, 6 to the power of n. So, when n is 1, it will be 6, when n is 2, it will be 6 to the power of 2, which is 36. When n is equal to 3, it will be 6 to the power of 3. That will be 206. And when n equals to 4, we we'll get 1, 1, 2, 9, 6. Okay. So, if you compare, this is the new sequence. This is the given sequence. So if you compare the two, so we're supposed to get 1 over 6, but we got 6. So the question is, or the next thing is to say, what do I need to do to 6 to get 1 out of 6? So you see that you have to divide by 36. Okay, so if you divide 36, this second term, 36, by 36, you get 1. Okay, and I think that will work out. Okay, so that means the actual end term will be n term will be equal to 6 to the power of n, okay, divided by 36, okay, but we can write this in a better way, it will be 6 to the power of n over, 36 is the same as 6 to the power of 2, and we can apply division of indices, this will be 6 to the power of n minus 2, so that will be the n term, so let's scroll down and write the final answer here, so we have 6 to the power of n minus 2. So you can check this when n is equals to 1 you have 1 minus 1 uh, 1 minus 2 that will be minus 1 6 to the power of negative 1 which is 1 over 6 
when n is equals to 2, 2 minus 2, that will be 0. 6 to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so that is the correct one. So part C, expand and simplify. x plus 4 into x minus 3 into 3x minus 1. Okay, so let's repeat x plus 4. Okay, then we'll uh, expand these two. We can have a big bracket here. Then if you do x times 3x, that will give you 3x squared. Then x times negative 1, we have negative x. So negative 3 times 3x, that will give you negative 9x. Then negative 3 times um, negative 1, that will be positive uh, 3. So this is what you have here. So you can simplify this. It will be x add 4 into uh, 3x squared minus x minus 9x that will be minus 10x plus 3 okay so finally we can now expand this so let's multiply uh this by x okay so that will be uh 3x cube then minus 10x squared then plus 3x also let's multiply positive 4 by this again so to give us plus 12x squared, then minus 40x, then plus 12. So if you simplify this, we have 3x cubed, okay? So minus 10x plus um, 12x, that would be plus 2, uh, minus 10x squared, plus 12x squared will give us plus 2x squared. Okay, then we have plus 3x minus 40x, that is minus 37x, then plus 12. Okay, so this will be the final answer. So it will be 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 37x plus 12. So let's go to the next question. 5D Roman figure 1 show that. 3x plus 5 plus 7 over x minus 2 equals to x simplifies to 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals to 0. So this is like over 1 and this is like over 1. So the LCM of the denominators will be x minus 2. So we need to linearize by multiplying each of the terms in this equation by the LCM which is x minus 2. Okay, so we're going to have x minus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 5, then plus x minus 2 multiplied by 7 over x minus 2, then finally uh, x minus 2 multiplied by x. Okay, so you can input, you can multiply, you can open this bracket by multiplying this by this okay so if you uh, do this okay so let's do it together so this will be 3x squared so firstly let's multiply x by the whole of this we have 3x squared plus 5x then let's multiply negative 2 by this again so we have minus 6x minus 10 okay then this will cancel this we are left with plus 7 here plus 7 then equals to if you open this bracket here so this will give us x squared minus uh, 2x so let's simplify this this and this will give us minus x so we have 3x squared then minus x then this and this will give us minus 3 so minus 3 then equals to x squared minus 2x so let's bring these two times to the left hand side so i have 3x squared then minus x squared minus x then plus 2x then minus 3 equals to 0 so 3x squared minus x squared that will be 2x squared 
a minus x plus 2x that will be plus x minus 3 equals to 0 okay so we have the same thing as this so let's go to part 2 solve by factorization method so if you multiply this by this you get 6x squared and the factors of 6x squared will be 2x multiplied by 3x that is one pair and that pair will be 6x multiplied by 1x so you see that you can combine these two uh, terms together that is from this pair you can arrange 2x and 3x to get plus x so that will be 2x squared then minus 2x plus 3x minus 3 equals to 0 so we can factor out 2x so we're left with x minus 1 then plus factor out uh, 3 here we have x minus 1 equals to 0 so that means 2x plus 3 into bracket x minus 1 equals to 0 it implies that 2x plus 3 equals to 0 or x minus 1 equals to 0 so from here you transfer 3 to the right hand side it becomes negative 3 so you have 2x to be equals to negative 3 or you transfer minus 1 to the right hand side it becomes positive 1 so x equals to 1 so finally divide both sides by 2 here so you have x equals to minus 3 over 2 okay so x equals to minus 3 over 2 or x equals to 1 part e a solid cylinder has the base radius x and the height uh, 3x that's for the cylinder the total surface area of the cylinder is the same as the total surface area of the uh, solid hemisphere of radius 5y so that means let's say total surface area of the cylinder so this is very important in our solution is equals to total surface area of the hemisphere okay so um we need to get the total surface area of a uh, cylinder okay so the total surface area of a cylinder will be the curved surface area which is 2 pi r h plus area of the top that will be pi r squared okay then plus area of the base that is pi r squared okay so we can simplify this it will be 2 pi r h then plus 2 pi r squared so if we uh, factor out 2 pi r so we have 2 pi r into h plus r there so don't forget that for the cylinder r is equals to x and h equals to 3x so if you key in the values so we're going to have 2 pi into x into h that is uh, 3x plus x so this will give us 2 pi x okay into uh, 4 x okay so if you expand the bracket this will give us um, 8 um, pi 2 times 4 x that is uh, 8 x 8 x times 2 times x that will be 8 x squared pi so this will give us 8 x squared pi so this will be the uh, total surface area of the cylinder okay so i can say total surface area of the cylinder okay by the cylinder is close to this so let's demarcate this so for the hemisphere we know that the um, surface area of the sphere is given as 4 pi r squared okay so um, the hemisphere will not be half of this okay okay so it will be half of this one plus the what the uh, because this is a solid hemisphere so that means the top is sealed okay so um, it will be 2 pi r okay so plus area of the top that is pi r squared so this will be the um, total surface area okay so if it was to be the surface area alone so uh, for a sphere it is 4 pi r squared and hemisphere it will be 2 pi r but we are talking about the total surface area 
So it involves the um, circular top, okay, which is area of a circle. So here, so this will give us three pi, um, okay, two pi r squared plus pi r squared. So this will give us three pi r squared, okay. So and here the radius is equals to five y, okay. R equals to five y. So if you clean the values, it will be three pi into five y everything squared okay then here we have three times five uh, sorry this will be three pi into let's do the power first that is 25 pi squared okay then if you uh, expand the bracket so this is going to be 75 y squared pi so now this is the total surface area of the hemisphere hemisphere okay so we can now see that the total surface area of the cylinder which is 8 x squared pi equals to total surface area of the hemisphere which is 75 y squared pi so pi cancel pi so let's uh, let's divide both sides by eight. So that will be x squared equals to seventy-five y squared over eight. So this is the required solution. Okay. So this will be the end of the solution to uh, question five. In the next uh, video, I will solve question six. Until then, have your fingers crossed.